Hey everybody and welcome back to our playthrough of Shadowrun Returns. It's been a bit, so I figured we'd start at the loading screen so it would give a brief, you know, overview of uh, what we were doing. So, I think I read this last time but I'll reiterate so we have a basis for what's going on. I th this is a side quest as far as I remember. The corporate extraction, you leave Terrasville behind and you make your way into the Barrens proper, exiting civilization as you know it. With each step, the little order that exists falls away, taken over by anarchy in its purest form. All semblance of government oversight, corporate domination, even media influence disappears, leaving an urban, feral landscape of bleak desperation. Yet hidden in this record- Okay! Um... Does it say there? Yeah, okay, good. Uh, yet yeah, hidden in this wreckage of a suburb, Renkaku Computer Systems is hidden in some sort of R&D research lab. Probably to take advantage of some old tech left near the Shiawase nuclear power plant meltdown or the crash that decimated the computer industry in 29. You find your way to, into the lab, the place has definitely seen better days. No security systems are online, greet you. Just the ones made of meat, maybe you can help a scientist make a life change. Right, yeah, this was a side side quest to storm a Renkaku base in order to rescue a scientist and have him work for another corporation. Odrek. Let's give me some boosts. Yeah, um, I'll just make the double move here. This is a bit dubious as well because, like, these are just random dudes. Please shoot. Yeah, 40 damage! I know he's just some random guy, so that feels bad. Yeah, uh, it's been a while. I've been really caught up in arcs. And so this kind of got sidelined. And the major story beat slowed down in this a lot, I feel. Because we... The main draw was the mystery of who Sam Killers was. And we discovered that pretty quickly. And, uh... The new plot... Or arc, I suppose. Of having uh, Sam's sister be... I mean, I saw it coming that the leader was going to be a corporate entity for some reason. But what I didn't expect it to be was a, a scary, like, demonic summoning cult of some sort. And for some reason, that's not dragging me in nearly as much as... Ooh. Sam and his situation. Or, you know. The whole mystery behind that instead. So I figured I'd, since with the, the main story of the Dead Man's Hand, of finding out who Sam... Who Sam's killer was is over, I'd take a bit of a break. Or at least slow down the episodes, which is what I clearly did. This was my first series and I still not finished it. But, I'm back. And I still do really enjoy this game and the mechanics. And the system and the writing is good. It's just taking me longer to get through than I thought it, I would. Also never use Overwatch, like ever. Okay. But I did like a bunch of arts episodes and I felt like I should definitely come back. I assume that just means if they walk. That, that's pretty much just forcing them to go up. Ooh, nice. Ow. Mm. If I have anything to say about the game... It's... Oh. 
While I enjoy the combat, it is a bit slow. And it's not too... While it takes play... The, what's it called? It, it is turn-based. I don't know. I don't want to sound like I'm knocking the game too much. Because it's a really good game. With strong writing and world building. But the combat is definitely not my main draw. Is what I really mean. It's a fun part of the game, but... It's the world and story that, that gets me the most. And I guess that's why... At the moment, I'm a bit... Not negative on it, obviously. I like the game a lot. But I'm not um, as invested in doing a bunch of episodes of it as much as other series that I've been doing. Because, like... Man, did I really enjoy System Shock 2. And I guess... Ooh, wow, that does a lot of damage. I think also... Um, this game plays differently. I don't know what I'm trying to... Where I'm going with this. Like, the style of commentary with this game is drastically different to... When I do... Come on, one more. Oh... Uh, to want to do something like System Shock, because this is a lot more character reading and world building. I'm more reading the story out loud and interacting with the choices when I get them. So it's like in these combat moments where I can give commentary, but for the most part, it's not that in-depth that I need to make specific commentary on what's going on. Because I can, I can pretty much do what I want. And as long as I don't make incredibly grievous errors. Can I also say 52% when they're right next to one another is some pretty bad accuracy. But yeah. It's weird. I feel like I should be more into the whole summoning demons part. But I don't really like Sam's sister as a villain. The smell hits you fast, the tying of blood, the funk of animal fowl, and something else. Something wrong. Hmm. Why is it so... Why does everyone have such terrible accuracy? Uh, do it on yourself, man. I think you already have it. Still not good enough. There we go. Time to leave. Or maybe it's opened up a new area? Ooh. I guess? Everyone around, please just be able to shoot better. I'd appreciate that. I already hit anybody. She can sort of. 60%, please just hit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's. Oh, it's a Decker thing. I don't know. <sighs> Again, I just like don't want to sound like I'm ragging on the game. Because it's genuinely a very good... Corporate mage, you morons just shot up a Renkaku research lab. Ever hear of Renkaku? Uh... Come on, why don't we play nice? We're just both employees here. You walk away and I won't make you I won't make you dead. I have a fragging herd of basilisks, idiot. You're gonna need a lot more guys. 
heard of basilisks. What does that mean? But probably something bad for me. Uh, you go behind cover, please. What's this giant magical ball? I, I think those are ley lines, so they should. Ow! Boost my magic. Come on, you got so many boosts. Okay, that guy cannot move unless he wants to step in fire. Which looks hilarious from the just the way it looks on the battlefield. Five, seven, five. That's just you, I guess. Oh, he's a Lone Star Enforcer, so these are cops. Haha. Uh Haha. -huh. Uh -huh. Are you gonna do a point blank shotgun range or did the negative one AP? Ow. Ow, 20 damage! Oh boy. Those just ran right through and did not give a damn. Um, let's run forwards. Get rid of this guy. Wow. Let's not get rid of this guy, apparently. Come on. Please hit. Okay, good. A basilisk? Why did it have to be a basilisk? It did 40 damage, though. I'm not complaining. That's that's real good. Okay. Let's do it. 20 damage. I'm gonna keep hitting this, though. That's dead now. Uh, can I use on you? Not enough AP. Oh, because I have to move next to him. Let's just shoot you then. Do, 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 do. Oh, I can just heal everything. Very nice. Very, very nice. Let's weaken your armor. Uh, game? Hello? Hello, game? My game is frozen. Ooh, no, it's not. Uh, I don't want to move out of place, though. Game froze for a bit, not sure why. That did half damage, right? So it's not bad. Yeah, that guy died. 20 damage there. Ow. Oh. Right, he's the corporate mate. Oh. Um, can I swap to you? Nah, nah. Oh, not you. Who has a um, medikit? You can heal my character, right? Yeah, there we go. There we go. Let's increase aim. You have eagle accuracy. I'm gonna increase her aim even more, because... Man, Coyote, you need it. Really badly. Seven percent? Yeah, why not? It hit! Uh, I'm gonna reload this. I'm just gonna prepare. Up here. Gee, you point blank. 20% chance. Oh, very nice, very nice. I thought you had an army of... You have two basilisks. You, you made it sound like you had, like, 30 of them. Yeah, let's run forward a bit. Uh, haste on my character. Let's do another shot. Nice. Oh, wow! Eight, 10 HP per round. A lot of damage, dang! Okay. 
just double shoot you. Oh, you're dead. Can I heal up? I don't really have anything for healing. I'll do an eagle totem, though. Let's heal you. I have absolutely no idea how long the fire is going to last, however. Can I put a fire? I can. There. Now the Basilisk has to walk through a ring of fire in order to do anything. Increase the aim of my character. Let's heal. I guess. No, no, I'm gonna reload this. And then Overwatch that way? Because I can. Go here. I didn't even move on the ley line. Nice. Should be fine. The fire seems to have dissipated. And I should. That's it. I just run. Does this hurt me? Oh, walking through the fire does hurt me. Ow. That was dumb. Oh, there's another basilisk. I heal myself, though? I should have put, like, a space open so I don't run mindlessly through these. Can't do that. Can't do that. So, shotgun it is. And a miss. Let's run forward through the flames. Ow. Note to self, next time don't do that. It's a very stupid idea. These basilisks aren't that great, to be perfectly honest. I don't know why he was threatening me with such creatures that... That's, that's it. Done. Shabam. Issue completed. I assume now we rescue the scientist, yeah! Sada. The scientist looks absolutely bewildered. Who, who are you? Why are you doing this? Are you Sada? What if I say no? Then you'll end up like them. Then yes, yes! I'm Sada. Wait, you're from Aztec... Technology, aren't you? I told them I wasn't interested in working for them. Well, whoever sent me is definitely interested in you. So that's it? You're just gonna hand me over to them? Jesus! These people! Listen to me, whoever you are. I know I'm a wage slave, I get it. But I shouldn't be a real slave, should I? All you're doing is transplanting me from one corp to another so I can be employee for life. Shouldn't I have something to say about it? What do you want me to do? Let me go. Just walk away. What do you, What will you do? Run somewhere. I don't know. But I shouldn't tell you anyway. Safer that way. Ugh, fine, get out of here. Nah, you're coming with me. Knock him out and drag him behind you. Uh, but I'm not gonna get paid. No, my, my guy's pretty righteous. So fine, get out of here. I ain't getting paid, alright. I should have asked for money at the very least. Ooh. <laughs> Fine. Oh, I have no money no more. <laughs> Ew. Feels bad. But also let him go free. But he's definitely going to be captured by somebody. He's not going to drop off the grid. The Union. Getting justice for Sam is going to take a lot more effort than it originally appeared. You hadn't anticipated his killer being protected by a cult filled with giant unkillable bugs. But she is... And if you're going to get her, you're going to need to find a way around, or through, those bugs. After a taste of the belonging that the Universal Brotherhood offered, the thorrid surroundings of the Seamstress Union feel like more like home than ever. Right, so, um... I was supposed to meet with Baron Samedi. <laughs> in the... 
Shadow Realm, <laughs> which sounds very bizarre and like straight out of Yu-Gi-Oh. But yeah, I'm supposed to meet with this tech whiz who can give me information. Is that it? Did I not get any karma for that? Was that like literally a wasted mission? I'm gonna be mad if that was. Oh, funny, you're back, but my people tell me they never got the package. I didn't have I didn't have pay data. Ah! Sada wasn't there. You had faulty intel. I got okay. There we go. He looks at you a minute, then shakes his head. I don't think so. But hey, no skin off my nose. My people will find him eventually. You wrecked up a Renkaku lab for us, free of charge. Hope it was worth it. See, that's what I was thinking. Cause I'm like, he's just gonna, he's just gonna get captured. I didn't get paid for it then. Uh, no thanks. I don't want drugs from you right now, that buddy. So that was pretty much a mission for Karma, and I have two new yen to my person. It's fantastic. By fantastic, I mean not great at all. Uh, let's see, what do I want to do? 11 Karma. I think I was going for, yeah, Charisma here. Let's do... So I've got Socialite, Shadow Runner, Academic. I want to do Corporate. And that's the max I can do for for orcs. I have three available karma. Hmm. And nothing here that I th think I want. So I might as well just save those for later. And I don't think I have any other side quests that I can do. So I guess I'm gonna go... Did Mr. Delilah have anything? I don't think he did. What, you need runners again? Good, I got some new contacts, some primo mercs. Not quite yet. I'll be back. I guess I'm gonna go talk to, uh... Johnny Clean and meet up with Baron Samedi. And progress with the story. Be back. I'm ready now. I'll ride along with you. I mean, I can't, I, I just, I don't have any options, so let's just go. Baron Samedi, Monsieur Mon Ami, please that we can have a semi-private conversation. You must be careful with tour guides like you, Johnny. You cannot trust everyone you tricks. Pleasure to meet you, Baron. You seem very intent on talking to me. Samedi wishes to thank you for saving, saving Mary Louise from the Brotherhood. The girl is quite precious. If Arm were to come to her, he does not know what he would do. He also offers you his help. The insects you encounter, they are something, no? Something dark. To ignore them would be folly. There is much at stake. Samedi knows you are after this woman, Jessica Watts, for your own reasons. He can help you get to this woman and defeat her. And hypothetically, how would we do that? The job will not be simple, nor will it be straightforward. What Samedi can guarantee, it will be dangerous. Telestrian Industries has been working for two years on a formula, codenamed Aegis. They're working with another corporation, a foreign corporation, to refine it. This is their third attempt to get it right. They believe they have. Manufacturing began several months ago. Fortunately, manufacturing plant in the Columbia Valley, Valley was recently blown up. It could have been corporate espionage, or it could have been something else. This is unknown. What is known is a large sample of the formula survived. What does this have to do with Jessica and the Universal Brotherhood? We want Aegis because it kills bugs. Big ones. The ones you met at the Universal Brotherhood. If you want to go back there, bring Miss Watts, the, the Watts woman, to justice. We need Aegis. 
and as it happens, Samedi knows where the last sample of Aegis is being kept. Hence the job at hand. We are going to break into the Telestrian Industrial Primary Operations Office Complex here in Seattle. Aegis will be somewhere within the building. We'll find the Aegis sample and liberate it for ourselves. Um, why not let? No, I don't want to let Telestrian because she's in cahoots with um, Jessica. <laughs> I don't think Lone Star will be able to take down something as big as the Universal Brotherhood either. You want me to break into one of the most influential corps in Pacific Northwest? You've got to be joking. Would that I were, but it's the only way. It's the only way to get what we need. But take heart, you will have Samedi with you. And he is clever in the ways of the Matrix. We cannot lose. So will you do this thing? Will you ally with Baron Samedi? I have more questions first. The Baron understands the need for information all too well. Ask what you will. Why not? How do you know all of this about Aegis? Because Sameti has personal connections to James Telestrian's affairs, you see. He knows. So why not let Telestrian take care of it? Sounds like they're already halfway there. Telestrian, do not talk to me of Telestrian. He's an executive, a businessman. Do you know what his reaction was when he learned of the insect threat? He called a meeting. He and his associates will be debating action forever. Why not tell Lone Star and let them deal with the Brotherhood? The Universal Brotherhood has connections. High-level connections in the government and in Lone Star. And their message resonates with those who need something to believe in. We have no proof and we have no time. We must act. I want to know more about yourself. Who you really are. Obviously he's not going to say, but still. What is there to know? Baron Samedi is gifted. You see? He was born to walk. He was born to travel the Matrix, bending it to his will. Who is Baron Samedi really? What is the difference? When a clown removes his paint, is still a clown, but in disguise, no? It is only when he is painted that people applaud. You never explain how you and Mary Louise know each other. We, oui, that is true. It is for her to say, not Samedi. He has nothing to lose, while she... You must ask her. Okay, I'm done asking questions. And are you convinced? You can say no. I get paid for taking jobs. No, no, no. All right, I'm in. If these bugs are as dangerous as you say, someone's got to save the world. Guess it might as well be me. Ah, bomb. Baron, somebody applauds you. We do this job for the right reason, eh? Yay! 8,000 New Yen! Therefore, you must bring a Decker with you. This, this is vital. What about you? You not coming with? Samedi will be part of the evening's events, but must remain remote. You will keep all of Seattle law enforcement and off-duty Telestrian security away. While you, while you locate the information we need from inside. And how do I get inside? Ah, the Baron will handle that as well. Telestrian guards will be rerouted throughout the building. With the right timing, no one will even know you were there. Of course, even Baron Sameti cannot anticipate all possibilities. So tonight, you must use your contacts to hire a team and travel to the Telestrian office complex downtown. You'll be contacted again when you have gained entrance. Cool. Um, that's it. Poor karma, nice. Johnny Clean whistles a long, slow whistle. Holy crap! Telestrian Industries, you hit the big time, chum. You're gonna need a serious decker for this one. Fortunately for you, I know one of the best. That means you, right? He sighs. No, I'm a not an inside man anymore. My running days are over. There's an elf who owes me a favor. He goes by Dodger. You may have heard of him. He's one of the best deckers in Seattle. This is me saying it. I'll get you his contact info. You'll know him by the way he talks. He's like a damn Charles Dickens novel. Cool. And now we've set up for the next episode and an attack on the Telestrian Industries. So I think with that, I'll call it an episode. And we'll continue with the series more... Uh, not more, sooner. Sooner rather than later. 
Because I think this is pretty much building up to the end game. Because, like what? We get the information about Aegis and or Aegis from the Telestrian Industries, and then we attack the Universal Brotherhood directly, and that's the end of the story, I think. But anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy the series so far, and that you'll, jo you'll join me next time. So with that, bye bye